everybody, it's Renari. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be checking out EXO's drama versions, drama episodes. Uh, I don't know if there's for Growl specifically, but they are tied to the storyline and they show off different songs on the album. There's uh, episode one and episode two, very short, and there's a Korean version and a Chinese version. I'm pretty sure that they're both the same other than the language, so I'm just going to watch the Korean version. Uh, so I, I have no, I don't know what I'm getting into with this one at all, but let's, let's get into it. And if you are just finding my channel, please subscribe to me down below. You can follow me on Twitter for updates and other stuff and comment down below as well. So I can chat with you guys. If you like it, like the video. Okay. So really not sure what these are about, but I know it has to do with growl and wolf and some of that concept. This is definitely the parkour era, so I'm not even surprised. <laughs> like, this is what everyone was doing in, in 2012 to 14-ish. Is that Becky and in the, the red hat, too? What just happened? It's like they're just passing off their, their powers? Okay, so Lehan is like the new kid in school. Friends, uh oh, okay. so down. Don't fuck with Exo. <laughs> Oh, that was intense. That look was intense. I want to go back. He was like, this is a game. This is easy. Ah, that was so attractive. Not gonna lie. Oh no! Wow, you lost control. Oh no. Wow. To be continued. Ah. Oh. Okay, so I looked it up uh, just to make sure I was understanding what she meant. It sounded like a very familiar phrase, which it is. Uh, who are you? What are you? So she's questioning him. The question is, is she questioning him because she just watched him throw his friend into a thing of boxes and hurt him? Like, is she thinking, like, what kind of person are you? Or actually, what are you? Because you obviously have these powers. She's seen it before. I don't know. 
I'm super interested though. Oh, you guys are so beat up. So like Tao gave him the powers originally. He's struggling, he doesn't know. Or I assume that was Tao at the, the beginning that gave him those, those powers. So he doesn't know how to use them, Luhan. No, she is not happy. I'm not happy with him. Get away from his girl. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Exo to the rescue. They did a very good job of alienating him from his friends there. Oh, oh but Kai, Kai knows. Boyfriend coming in. <laughs> I don't know their relationship, I'm just going off what I'm seeing. Bad asses. Kyungsu there, he's okay now. <laughs> he's having so much fun with it. Oh, that was such a cool shot. Why is those shots of Kai are just taking me out of out of this? She's like, don't use it. You're gonna fuck up if you use it. See, but no, he messed up because he didn't use it. Oh, that hesitation. So Chris is the one that gave it to him. I couldn't tell in the, the first first bit. Okay, so that's how the whole wolf thing works. And she kind of just, her tears took away the, the wolf powers. And so he's back to human. So I imagine they're all human then. So is Chris the only one? Was Chris not? I guess Chris wasn't fighting with them, right? Maybe I missed something there with Chris, but... Uh, the basic story I, I definitely got. Chris gave him these powers. Uh, he has his friends that are helping him. He's in this. He's upset somebody. This dangerous gang here who's coming after him. Uh, he, oh god, he doesn't know how to use his powers. He's trying to use them for good. He accidentally hurts Dio. And then this this thing. I don't know what the Kai and the girls' relationship is, or him to the girl, but. Uh, very interesting. They definitely told a good story within within seven minutes. 
Okay, so that was uh, the drama versions for, I guess, Wolf and Growl. And uh, interesting, for sure, especially because I was so curious about this whole wolf concept and where that came from and how it differs from the alien concept and what's happening there. So this is very interesting. I don't know if they expand on that more. The VCR for the Melon Award Show thing, I don't know if that expands on this more, if it's kind of different. Uh, you can let me know down below and let me know if I should do that. But very interesting overall. And I liked hearing the songs and I like that they didn't have too much dialogue. Like they did a lot with just the music and uh, what was going on in the visuals. So very, very good storytelling overall. Um, I enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know your anything else I need to know about these down below or what I should move on to next to make sure I'm getting this story. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.